were nearly 72,000 spectators at Tottenham for the England-Italy international football match. And as you see, the supporters of both teams were all set to enjoy themselves and to urge on their sides to victory. The players, Italy first, were presented to the Earl of Athlone, president of the Football Association. Then, courtesies were exchanged between the captains, Wright and Carapalese. Italy won the toss, and somehow the language difficulty was mastered. From the kickoff, England, in white shirts, went away with a determined dash, evidently intent on scoring in the first few minutes. They nearly did when Mortensen sent in a hard drive, but Morrow in the Italian goal was equal to the occasion. Morrow, in fact, had plenty to do in the first half and did it very well. It was soon pretty obvious that Italy was feeling a strong team, cohesive in attack as well as defence. Their passing was always pretty to watch, their raids on the English goal dangerous. Bert Williams, however, was playing a sterling game and he must have driven the Italians almost to despair. They simply couldn't get anything past him. <laughs> Half-time saw no score and a job for the police. There was also some delay in resuming the match owing to a misunderstanding by Italy over the rules about substitutes. The light, already poor when Italy did kick off, soon got rather bad. Nobody could score until within 15 minutes of time, Rowley opened for England. A few minutes later, Morrow was again defeated, this time by a lob from Billy Wright. <laughs> 